Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to my channel. People will be amazed at the versatility of pure maple syrup and what you can do with it. Today's recipe is something I make for lunch at least once a week, and it's the black beans with rice and maple syrup. As most of you know, beans are okay to be sweet. So I don't know if anybody has uh, thought of using the maple syrup, but I have a quick little recipe that works great for me, and this is what you need. Now usually I'll go about 5-10 minutes on this until they're translucent. Then I'll add the beans. For convenience sake, I cook up a large batch of beans and put them in the freezer in one cup servings. So that all I have to do is grab a package out of the freezer and cook. cooking this uh, you do want to keep it covered you don't want to lose too much moisture because the beans do absorb a lot of it I wait until the beans absorb most of what was in here to start before I add a little bit of water Save this cover from a pan I could no longer use, an enamel pan. Happens to fit perfect on my 8 inch skillet. I'm going to add a little bit of water. Try not to use ice cold water because the cast iron pans do get quite hot. And we're going to cover this back up and let it go for another 5 or 10 minutes. Now what I'm going to do is drizzle maple syrup. I I'm not one to measure anything, unfortunately. But you pretty much only have to do this once to know whether you need more next time or less. I'll refrain from stirring that because now I want a lot of the water to evaporate off. Now that this is done, I have approximately a cup of rice on the plate and this pretty much will be two meals for me well I may use the other half as a side dish tonight for dinner
the nice thing about beans is they don't have a huge amount of flavor of their own. So a lot of whatever you put in with it, the beans will take on that flavor. And I just like to garnish it with a little bit of fresh parsley. And there you go.